What is up, guys? It's your lad. And welcome to the first episode of Pokemon Liquid Crystal version. This isn't a uh, Game Freak made version. This is a uh, ROM. So, let's hop right into it. Pretty sure this one is just a remake of Crystal. So... I don't know why they put those in the front. It's yeah, here it is. Welcome to Pokemon Liquid Crystal by Link and Zelda and Sinister Zeku. I hope you people enjoy this game as much as we did making it. This game is a beta of which is 99% remake of Pokemon Crystal version for the GBA. There's all the people who did it. I guess helped. Game is a remake of Pokemon Crystal, which has Johto, Kanto, and Valencia Island completed. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. Some people play with Pokemon, some people battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. Now, tell me, are you a boy or are you a girl? I'm a boy, of course. Let's begin with your name. What is it? Let's just go with the good old E-Lad. <laughs> oh. Wow, that was... Don't know what I was doing there. Guess I was spelling it backwards or something. There we go. Right, so your name is Elad. Yes. Elad, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story, full of memories and tough challenges, is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Weep, 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 weep. I thought that would go by itself, but I guess not. Z, Z, Z. Hmm. What? You woke me up. Will you check the clock for me? What time is it? That is a very good question. I'm pretty sure it's like 8.17, so... It is Thursday, 8 o'clock. Hey! Wow, that's... Wow, 22 minutes. Thursday, 2022. Yikes, I overslept. Ooh, listen to the music. Let's see, is there one of those potions in here? Just like every ROM has? Sorry about that. Item storage. Withdraw item. Potion. Yes. Withdraw. Alright. Got one potion to start out with. Can you uh oh, can't run inside in this one. Oh, hey lad, our neighbor, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Poke Gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. Obtain Poke Gear. I'm pretty sure the Poke Gear is like a uh, clock in this one. Poke Gear. Or just Poke Gear. Oh. It's essential if you want to be a good trainer. To make calls, just turn the Poke Gear on and select the phone icon. Phone numbers are stored in memory. Just choose a name you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient? Oh, I almost forgot, you lad. They were doing a discount on new Poke Gear expansion cards, so I got it for you. Your newly repaired Poke Gear. You don't have to pay me back, so enjoy it as much as you can. 
What kind of mom would make you pay her back for that? GBP card. Eli, put the GBB card. GBP card in key items. Alright. Oh, it's like snowy out. Let's go see what Professor Elm won. Oh, look, it's... What's his face? Uh, silver? Maybe? Let's see. Ah. Hey, lad, there you are. I need to ask you a favor. I'm conducting new Pokemon research right now, and I was wondering if you could help me with it, Elad. You see? I'm writing a paper that I want to present at a conference. But there are some things I don't quite understand yet. So, I'd like you to raise a Pokemon that I recently caught. Sure. Thanks, Elad. You're a great help. When I announce my findings, I'm sure I'll delve a bit deeper into it. And the many, into the many mysteries of Pokemon. You can count on it. Oh, hey, I got an email. Hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, listen. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. Elad, can you go in your in our place? I want you to raise one of the Pokemon contained in these balls. You'll be that Pokemon's first partner, Elad. Go on. Pick one. Hmm. Cyndaquil. I don't know. It's always between Cyndaquil and... I think this one is Totodile. Yeah. I'm, I was never really big on Bayleaf. Or real, any of the first two uh, grass starters. My The first grass starter I ever picked was Trico. And I love Trico to death. I may do a Pokemon Emerald uh, playthrough after this one. I don't know. I got Pokemon Emerald, Fire Red, um, I think Dark Rising 1 and 2, and Light Platinum to play. So, if y'all want to watch one of those, just tell me. I play two at the same time. It doesn't matter. Alright, let's see. Cyndaquil. This is going to be hard. Do I want Typhlosion or do I want Feraligator? Um, let's go with uh, Feraligator. This one's worth raising. So, lad, you decided to keep the water Pokemon Totodile? Yes. These Pokemon, This Pokemon is really quite energetic. I don't know if it goes like what it did in the first one where... If uh, your Pokemon, depending on what it is, it's easier to tame, so or easier to level up. So like the Bulbasaur in the first one was really easy, while the uh, Charmander was super hard. Hmm. I don't know. What should your name be? Let us go with Chompy. Yeah, Chompy. P. Y. Chompy. Okay. Da, 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 da. I'm watching you, Elm. <laughs> okay, I don't remember that from the first game. Who the hell was that? Anyway. Which Pokemon lives a bit beyond Cherry Grove, the next city over? It's almost a direct route there, so you can't miss it. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with a machine on my right. Feel free to use it at any time. You should be okay, but just in case, I'll give you my phone number. Call me if anything comes up. Elad got Elm's phone number. Oh, hey, Elad. I want you to have this for your errand. Hi, nice, I got two potions. I had to take a sip of pop. So now if I get extremely hurt, I have two potions to back me up. I wonder if this guy still says the same thing. So, this is the famous Elm Pokemon. Lab. What are you staring at? Yeah, he still kicks you outside. Ha! <laughs> Jerk. Let's see, what do you got to say, old man? Pokemon hide in the grass. Who knows when they'll pop out? 
Do I not have... I don't have my shoes yet. Darn it. Hmm. Wow, Pidgey appeared. Go, Chompy. Alright, let's... Good old Scratch. Can't wait for Chompy to get bite. Or Chomp... I think... Is there, a, is there a move called Chomp? I think there is. Just like a heavy bite, but it... No, it's Crunch. Just like a really heavy bite that can cause flinching. And it sucks if someone back-to-back -back crunches you and for each one they get a flinch because the flinch rate on bite and crunch are super high. Or at least when I play they are. And it sucks. Yo, how are your Pokemon? If they're weak and not ready for battle, keep them out of grass. Oh, keep out of the grass. Oh, I have to go around, I guess. I like the battle start music in this. Oh, it's a hoodoo. Oh, God, I always loved hoodoo and not tell. Oh. <coughs> Good old growl. Too bad it's not going to stop your death. Critical hit. Chompy always coming through with that critical hit. No. Oh. Okay. Oh, my lord. Another attack fall. I'm gonna do like no damage now. Who do you? Oh, God, this is the worst thing about the Pokemon AI. Instead of just using normal attacks, they just go, "Hmm, let's go status effect until you can't be have any of your status effects anymore." Hope you have fun not doing any damage. I wanted to take a break, so I saved the to the record of my progress. Hmm. Alright then. Uh, I, well, well, I was going to talk to those people, but I guess not now. See, I'm pretty sure it's still Team Rocket that you're fighting against in this one. Oh, oh, cool. I guess there's nothing back here. And of course. Oh, a little Rattata. I think, yeah, Rattata. Oh, it, it started to hail. Great. When I first played through this game... There wasn't any hail. That's nice to know. The snow continues, or the hail continues to fall. Rattata is, is pelted by the hail. Chompy is pelted by the hail. Literally one point of damage. Oh, do they, does he have an orange berry? Yeah. Nice. Oh, dude, that's amazing. I love how this rat is faster than me. Eh, thank God, Chompy. Critical hit. Rattata faded. Chompy game. Yes. Level up. Chompy grew to level 6. Oh, I thought he was going to level up again. I don't... I think Bubble is his next move that he learns. I don't know. It's either Bubble or Bite, maybe. Maybe another status effect to one. I don't know. If it is another status effect one, I'm going to get rid of it later because I don't play with any of the status effects. I just get I get rid of them because, to me, they're useless. I n hardly ever use them. The only ones I use are the area effects, so like Hail and Sandstorm and all them. If I don't have a Pokemon that already brings that up. Thank you for waiting. We restored the HP of your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. You probably will. I don't think I got enough money to buy anything yet. And if I could, the only thing I'd try to buy was Pokeballs. Route 30. Oh, Spinarak. I remember how rare these things were in Emerald. And even when you caught one, they were absolutely useless because it was after you defeated the Elite Four. So you really couldn't do anything with them. There was no use in having them unless you were just OCD about... Oh my god, I swear if that poisons me. 
So the only thing you could do about it, do with it, was up your Pokédex. And if you're really OCD about the Pokédex, you'd finish it. But I'm not OCD about the Pokédex, so I probably won't be collecting all of them. Let's see, what is this? Is this Mr. Pokémon? Pokémon eat berries. Well, my Pokémon got healthier by eating a berry. I'll share one with you. Bum, 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 bum. And the orange berry patch. Check the trees for berries. They might just drop off. On your way out, can you see what's... Can you see what's up with the left plant? Huh. Up with the left plant. Wait, left. Okay. Ooh, maybe I'll get... He said up with the left plant, right? Maybe it's up here? I don't... I... What did he mean by that? Left plant. Ooh, an antidote. Thank God. Because, you know, everybody just loves being poisoned in this game with how absolutely annoying it is. Hmm. Oh, God. I forgot. Great. Let's... Oh, it's just a hoodoo. Chompy, go. It almost looks like Compy. Growl, of course. My attack fell, oh no. Come on, Chompy, just get that... <sighs> Chompy! Uh, right row. Oh, okay, we're back. <laughs> Don't know what that was, but that was a... Breaking the battle. I guess the game thought I needed a rest? Who knows? The world may never know. Is this Mr. Pokemon's house? Yes, okay. Check the left plant. It's a fruit bearing tree. Hey, there's two pizza berries in it. You want to pick them? Sure. There's that menu again that I didn't even I didn't mean to touch. It's a soft loamy state. Two more pizza berries. I'm pretty sure pizza berries are Um, what's it called? Uh paralysis. I don't know. They might be. Let's see. Uh, this berry pouch, yes. Got worn and no cure poison. All right, some more antidotes. That's cool. I got four of four, five antidotes now. Ah, Mr. Pokemon. Hello, hello, you must be a lad. Professor Elm said that you would visit. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. Mystery egg. I bet it's like a Togepi or something. Put the mystery egg in key items. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. Ah, B.S. Professor Oak is the top, even though he seems useless. Aha, so you're a lad. I'm Oak, a, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this, a rare Pokemon? Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Pro Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Aha! You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See this? This is the latest version of the Pokédex. It automatically records data on the Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's high-tech. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Go meet many kinds of Pokémon and complete the Pokédex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. You lad, I'm counting on you. You're returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. I'm depending on you. Alright, guys. I think that is going to be where I stop it for today. Thank you. Come back next time for episode 2. And if you'd be kind enough to do so, like and subscribe. Thank you. Peace out.